Men make up nearly 80% of the suicide deaths here in Michigan, and we need to talk about it. Men living in rural areas of the state are especially vulnerable because of their limited access to mental health services and the stigma surrounding getting help. That was the case for Simon Zagata, who grew up in the rural town of Manton, which is about 35 miles south of Traverse City. When I was growing up there, it was definitely not thought of as this comprehensive model of like your health. It was something special and extra that you only seek out in like very specific situations. If the people around me were more open about their mental health and the things that happened to them, I probably would have been at least more likely to talk about that. Simon reached out to the employee assistance program that was available through his work and eventually got connected with a therapist. It's honestly made a, a huge impact. Going to therapy made me more willing to explore that and accept some of that. To help connect more rural Michigan men like Simon with mental health care access, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services and the CDC are working together. The Preventing Suicide in Michigan Men program, called PRISM for short, is a statewide partnership to reduce suicide rates among adult men in Michigan by 10% over the next five years. Several Democratic state reps like clinical psychologist Felicia Brabeck from Ann Arbor are also proposing a way to cut the red tape for mental health care providers in Michigan through a bill package called Advanced Michigan Mental Health. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is also doing her part to increase access to care. In her executive budget for fiscal year 2025, Governor Whitmer proposed a $9.2 million investment in expanding services from the Michigan Crisis and Access Line, or 988. These services can often fill the gaps for Michiganders living in rural areas where there's not a lot of access to mental health services or for folks who need help but don't feel comfortable turning to friends or family. To follow the story of mental health care access in Michigan, stick with me, Lucas Hinkle, right here at the Gander Newsroom.